Hi everyone. Um, for those who have newly subscribed to this channel, my name is Adele. I always forget to say that. I'm going to try to remember from now on. But um, hello and thank you for subscribing. Uh, if you've watched a few of my videos, you will see I am just an ordinary uh, person, nothing special, introverted, and just watching and waiting on our Lord and sharing the gospel whenever I can. So this video right now, and sorry, I'm very uncomfortable in a chair. Um, I just kind of want to touch base on the video I made last night regarding my son's rapture dream. I did go ahead and rewatch it because of some of the comments just to make sure of what I said. And in the dream, I specifically um, clear that I wasn't saying his dream was prophetic. I'm not saying it's not prophetic, but I'm not saying it's prophetic either. Um, we all know that we don't know the day or the hour in that. Um, but we also know in Revelation 3.3 3, um, that Jesus tells us, If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know the hour I will come upon thee. Now, if you really think about that scripture... If we're not watching, we're not going to know. So everybody that's really finding this channel, they're watching. We're discerning the times. We know that Jesus is at the door. He can come five minutes from now. We don't know. But what do we do with everything that happens? And like as new things are revealed to us, we share it with one another. We encourage one another because this is our blessed hope. This is what we are told to watch and pray continuously, you know, that we are counted worthy to escape. So we see tribulation setting up. We know like everything is falling into place. We know the Lord's word does not return void. So we're excited and, and so excited and rightfully so. And more and more people are sharing their dreams and sharing their visions. And with that, they're sharing the gospel. That means another person is being led to Jesus. That's what we want right now. We want more than ever people to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ our Lord. That's what is important. It's not the date. It's our hope in Jesus Christ, our faith in him alone. That is our salvation. Um, it is by grace through faith that we are saved, not by our works. So, don't get mad because someone has a dream and they share it. Um, you know, this is what I think about every single day, especially since I had my rapture dream. When I had it back in February, um, there, there's a, I, I think I can put a link in, in the description box. I can try to do that. But my, my first video I put on here was about my rapture dream. Ever since then, I have been watching and waiting for Jesus to come at any moment of every single day. That's how I live my life. Every single day I'm watching and I'm mindful, what am I doing? So if Jesus came right now, what would he find me doing? He's going to find me trying to encourage everyone to, you know, watch and wait with me and, you know, know that he's right at the door and to share the gospel. That's what he's going to find me doing. Um, if he comes five minutes from now, I could be praying. Um, I could be studying the word. So this is what I want to encourage you is to be mindful of that because we don't know the day and hour. Be mindful of what you're doing. Um, you know, if Jesus comes, when he comes, what are you thinking about? You know, what is he going to find you doing? Is he going to find you leaving ugly comments or being nasty to a brother and sister in Christ? You know, if so, uh, you might want to rethink that. <laughs> I mean, I, I would definitely want to rethink that. Be kind and loving and compassionate and show some grace. That's all, you know? So, oh, let me share this verse with you. I, I found it the other day and I just love it. Um, I know I've read it before, but for some reason, it just has so much more meaning to me now. And that's 1 John 3.3. 3. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. He is pure. So our hope in the Lord Jesus, you know, waiting for his return, 
purifies us. That that's awesome. <laughs> it's just awesome. And maybe that's why we're so excited and happy and we share love and grace with everybody because we we're excited. We want to go be with our father. And who can blame us? You know, th- this world is nuts. I mean, we we just want to leave. So, anyways, um Thank you to everyone that has subscribed and uh, share the gospel. First Corinthians 15, one through four, you know, Jesus came fully flesh, fully human. He died on the cross on the third day. He rose again, according to scripture and is believing on him, you know, in, in accepting him in our hearts, uh, that saves us. The Holy spirit indwells in us and, uh, leads us and guides us, changes our hearts, our minds, um, it changes our whole life. So share that with somebody and uh, God bless you. Bye.